my grandmother is very religious. She's 94 and a half. She spent every day uh, making these collages from the ages of 84 to 92. She made them with junk mail and flyers. They say Jesus loves you, but to me they mean other things these days. When I first put the, the, the work up or wanted to put the work up, I was just really like fascinated with how inadvertently contemporary and subversive and tongue-in-cheek they were. It's like Jesus with, with like a Big Mac. Jesus with donuts, Jesus with raw meat. I want to emphasize that things that are being thrown away in garbage can be useful to do something good to the minds of people. I put up 800 collages, just a tiny fragment of her thousands that she's made over the last eight years. I feel happy doing it. Because instead of doing something wrong, you are doing something right. So you appreciate yourself, you are doing something right. It's a good message. While I was mounting the exhibition, it, it had new meaning for me. The meditative process of, of piecing together 10,000 paper clips, you know, holding each of the pieces in her hand and seeing how much thought and work and effort and love that she put into it. I don't know, it touched me in a new way. And also just seeing the, in the collages, the aging woman and how she still dedicated and devoted to the to her work or her practice or, or her ideas or her values and the things that she wanted to convey. And even though the letters changed and the patterns became less detailed, uh, the, le the letters which, you know, they became smaller and less refined, she was like still doing it. She was still doing it every single day. I, I have been painting the picture of Jesus ever since I can remember. <laughs> Making a painting which is the sacred heart of Jesus with my father's face on it is like religious in her own way. She didn't think it was blasphemous. I, didn't really, I just didn't really think about how odd it would be to have your father's face on this iconic holy image until much later as an adult. To my grandmother, like, Jesus was important and a message of love, but so was her son, you know, and so is everyone around us. I just wish that everyone with a heart will be loving people around them, forgiving those who are doing wrong.